good afternoon. I was considering recording a little bit later in the day because I have a feeling, I have a very strong, strong feeling that I'm going to get home, eat lunch, and then pass out as I normally do when it comes to morning shifts that I work. So just got off of work. I got a frog in my throat. I did not record that much because of the pure fact of I already recorded the last time I worked an opening shift and I wasn't really trying to do that again. For 6 to 11.30, my boss is really trying to get me to stay, like really trying to get me to like stay an extra like hour. I was like, um, no thank you. He even was like, um, cause I was like, that would require me to take a lunch. And he's like, how about you just don't take a lunch? And I'm like, I, not taking a lunch means I would go home. I would work six hours or less. I do not want to be here. And like I made it clear. And what's crazy is like, I don't think they realize that every time they ask me to do something, I always do it. And the only thing I don't ask is to stay longer. And that is like my only request is that I'll do mostly what you want me to do as long as you don't ask me to stay longer than I need to or longer than I want to really, because I don't want to be there. Uh, so he was really persistent. I was like, I'm sorry, no, but like I said, I'll do whatever you ask me and I did it and i know they don't like it but i honestly don't care like i'm very upfront with the fact that like i don't like to work i don't want to work but i know that i have to and that's basically why i i do it like it's because i have to not because i want to okay i have literally made that clear since i basically have started working like i think when i worked at ikea that was when I realized that like, I don't like working. I think when I worked at Ikea, I had like the worst anxiety of my life that like I had to quit at some point before I got another job because it was stressing me out that bad. I was like having panic attacks in the bathroom every weekend when it was busy and they needed somebody to like greet the customers, like check them out at the checkout and all that and like I was just and then what really got me is like my managers really did not care that I was like struggling so bad like I'll have a manager checking out customers in the lane next to me and I'll mention like I, I feel like I'm gonna throw up like I don't think I can do this and I'll and they would not say anything they just look at me like oh well you know and I'm like yeah oh well but also like I don't want to put myself through this and sometimes I would like, you know, turn my like my light off and close my lane down because I genuinely thought I was going to have like a panic attack in front of a customer. And I just didn't want to do that, you know? And I've learned at this point that like I, every like if I feel like I can't take something, I don't have to take it. But I will always, you know, I'm not saying I'm like always pushing myself, but I I will like make sure that like I'm still trying my hardest even if I am not even if I'm struggling mentally so it's just crazy like I yeah I think that was like the breaking point where like I realized I hate working and I don't like it and it's just like what else am I to do you know unless I like blow up on YouTube I mean I sort of did with the the Colleen Ballinger videos but those weren't even about me those were like a meme video like I don't I don't really count that I mean I think that's like an achievement but again like is not I don't think it's like a real success in my eyes when it comes to YouTube you know so like unless something happens like that or I blow up on TikTok or I be, just you know like any sort of like social media means because I think social media is like the one thing that I think I'm decent at and I say decent because like it takes skill to like market yourself you know and I feel like I'm not good at marketing myself because I I think also on some level I don't want to make myself a cash cow <laughs> for other people but also like that's the whole point of social media is like you're sharing your life and in return you get like a financial gain from it and I like that to some degree but my problem with social media is that I, li like, I literally don't know how to market myself. 
and I don't know how like I don't know SEO and I like there's so much of like social marketing that I am like unaware of and that I am not like competent enough about that like I don't think I'll ever get to a high level of social media relevancy that like you know will last me a long time you know like Brittany Broski I bring her up like so often in my life because she she's first of all she's an Aggie so like she's a Texan and I kind of I kind of uh vicariously live through her because one she's a Texan and you know she's really funny we have the same kind of humor and I see her as like a triumph for all of us weird girls I mean not to say that like I'm super duper weird like I'm a weird girl but like not a weird girl like you know like I just see her as like somebody who gets to make a living off of just being herself and that's something that I love but unfortunately I'm not granted the same kind of privilege and I it makes me sad sometimes because it's like it seems so easy you know but I know there's a lot more that goes underneath the surface but, you know, I just think about that, like, a lot. I guess my main point is to just say that I, li I like work that doesn't feel like work. And the thing is, is I think about that saying all the time of, like, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And I just think that is so, like, for so I, I highly believe that for other people that that's true. But for me, I don't think it is because every time I view something that I love to do or, like, a passion of mine and decide to and I think I've talked about this before in the past but like every time I like add a monetary value to it I suddenly don't want to do it I see it as a chore I see it as like you know like like I have to do it now like a means for survival and shit like that like I think about it like that and when I think about it and and the thing is it's like I'm not trying to it's just inevitable like my brain just goes to that so like I'm good at customer service. I used to like customer service and helping people. And then once it became like my full-time thing, like the thing that I would do for the next like eight years of my life, I hated it. I was just like, this is, I don't like this. I found out I don't like people and I don't want to do this anymore. But unfortunately it's the only thing that I've done for the, for almost an entire decade. And like, what else am I supposed to do, you know? And so like, I think about social media. I think about creative pursuits. I think about all those things and I think, I love those things so much as like a hobby, as something that, you know, I like to do in my free time. And it's just like, once I start making a career out of it, I'm afraid that I'm gonna hate it so much that I don't wanna do it. And that's, and when I tell people, when people ask me like what I wanna do with my life or like what are my plans for my career, it is such a hard question because it's like, I don't know. You know, there are a lot of things that I love doing. There are a lot of things that I'm passionate about, but like, just like with, choir like with singing in in elementary and middle school to dance to theater to makeup like all those things came and gone so quick and I can't imagine what would happen if like I made that my career and I ended up hating it like and I think life is short you know if I do find something that I'm passionate about and I want to like have financial gain from it I absolutely could do that and it's totally fine for things to just come and go but I don't like being a flight risk to anything because it's very tricky and like you can't predict what'll happen and and like capitalism is always changing money there's inflation like it's just there's too much that goes into it and so for me I'm like the only the only reason why I stick with customer service is for the fact that I've been doing it for so long and I've you know I don't want to say I've perfected it but like it's also not like an easy industry to be in you know you kind of have to have thick skin and like I I like have semi thick skin I try not to let anything that happens to me at work get to me personally but sometimes it does and so like I don't know it's really complicated and I hate being somebody that has no drive that has no passion that has no motivation like yeah I say that I hate work and like I don't like work but like do you think that I want to be that way? You know, like I, I, I can at least say with my full chest that I don't like to work, that I don't want to work. But do you think I wanted, wanted to think that way, that I wanted to be this way? No, it's just like, I kind of realized that like, I don't want to live 
a laborious life, you know? Like, I want to enjoy my life. I want to live my life however the fuck I want. And I can't do that when I'm at a job for eight, six to eight hours a day and, like, dealing with people I don't want to deal with, you know? Anyway, this, this turned into a whole thing. I'm home now, so, I mean, obviously I'm home. So, and I have just been looking at the screen. I haven't been looking at the camera, and I'm really sorry. Let's go inside. Oh, by the way, I also got this at work. It was on sale for six dollars and it falls under my works brand so i got it for like 585 and this is gonna go on our front door and it's gonna be so cute please oh my god please get on ah! Yay! So cute. I'm home now. The plan is to obviously change out of my uniform, find something to eat. I'm going to chill out for a little bit. If I start getting a little sleepy, I'm going to probably take a nap. I also think I'm going to try and get the motivation to edit like right after I finish lunch. So that way, if I do get sleepy, it's not, you know... <laughs> It's, it's like quite some time after I've started editing. So that way I will get something done. I was thinking about doing it this morning, but I don't think, I don't think on top of already being sleepy from, you know, just being up at four in the morning, uh, I decided not to. I really wish that I could have because that could have saved me some time in the afternoon, but it's okay. I also am thinking about doing part of my closet clean out today, but that is a tentative maybe. And yeah, I will see y'all in a couple of hours probably. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it was actually pretty cold outside this morning. It was like 50 degrees and I was like, what the f is this? Like, bro, what? And then when I left work, it was still kind of cold. Like it was starting to warm up because the sun and stuff, but Still, I was like, wow, I can wear my sweater and not get hot. What is going on? Also, I'd like to start a new segment at work called Thoughts I Have That Can't Stop Popping Up at Work. I worked on Saturday, so I'll read you the ones that I had on Saturday when I started this little thing. And then I'll tell you guys about the ones today. So, the first one verbatim literally says, Why is me beast famous? I've never wat head a vid video of his. So when I type these, I, I don't care about typos because I'm the only one looking at them, but I know what, like I can comprehend what I said. So I basically said, why is Mr. Beast famous? I've never watched a video of his. And I'm sure you could have gathered that from context by the way I was saying it, but yeah, that's what I was saying. Like his celebrity status is related to my viewing of his videos is so funny to me because it's like yeah why is he famous i've never even heard of this guy you know like it's like yeah because you out of all people it matter and that's the kind of thing i was thinking whenever i was stocking his candy bars on our shelves at work because i was like why is he famous again like i know he gives out money but like David Dobrik does that and I know him. Like where did he come from? Where, what are Mr. Beast's origins? Like I don't think I've ever seen an origin story like like video essay on him. Like I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a Mr. Beast video essay on his origin story. Like I, this guy like, I feel like he just popped up out of nowhere. Like I swear to God. Intermission, I'm gonna light this candle. Okay, next one. I hate the boxes that are supposedly easy to open but they're not sometimes okay when so a lot of these happen when i was stocking candy in the candy aisle because that was pretty much all i did on saturday and i there are boxes that have like preparations you know to like show where to open the box so you can display it on the shelf and so i was having a hard time like with those preparations because one i have long nails so i can't just like poke my finger in it like I have to like be careful. And so that was me getting frustrated. My least favorite customers today are the ones who enter a busy aisle as a shortcut. Like you're f***ing stupid. Imagine it's the holidays, right? It's Thanksgiving, Christmas, 4th of July, and you're trying to enter the baking aisle, right? And not only are there customers in that aisle, but there are employees in that aisle who are like trying to maintain that aisle either by stocking, um, replenishing, uh, recovering the aisle and on top of like 
several customers being in the aisle, there is that one or couple of people who will like, and, and it's even worse if they have like a car, like a buggy, and they're trying to go through, and they go, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, can I get them, blah, 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 and they go through, and all oh, the worst thing in the world is literally seeing them go through and then exit. Not even stopping once to try and find anything in the aisle. Entered in just to exit. Like that is their, the only point of them getting in the aisle. It's like, you seriously could not have picked any other place. That was my least favorite customer that day, but it's one of my least favorite customers in general. The last one is I'm so offended that Lola slash Mary got bullied for her outfits in Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Like she slave, you're just mad that you're boring with your wack ass designer. <laughs> Sometimes I am hilarious, okay? Some of y'all might know I'm an avid Pinterest user. Follow me on Pinterest, don't know what for, but I have like lots of boards and lots of sections within those boards. And I've been working on my Disney Pinterest board where it's like mostly Disney Channel, Mickey and Friends, uh, Disney Princesses, you know, Disney original movies and <laughs> If you guys haven't seen Confessions of a Teenage Drama, wait, hold on. Never mind, I think I got rid of it. I was gifted a DVD of Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen with Lindsay Lohan from my aunt because I was known as the drama queen in my family and I still am to a certain degree. And I watched that shit front to back, okay? And if you've watched that movie, let me know. I don't, actually, I don't remember if she got bullied for her outfits, but because like, Y2K is like designer and shit, Juicy Couture and like Louis Vuitton. It's just like when you're wearing thrifted or handmade stuff, it's kind of lame, boo, boring. But her outfits, Lola, Lola's outfits? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. If Megan Fox's character is such a hater, like you have no originality because all you wear is designer and just flex that you're rich, like get over yourself, you know? <laughs> I was, I just, when I was pinning for that section of Confessions of the Teenage Drama Queen, like her outfits were so great. The ones I have today, the list is a lot shorter. <laughs> Let's get into it. So the first one is the grocery slash GM mistake trademark because it's it's the only thing that I thought about for the first three to four hours. So I come in and overnight is a little behind, so there's like boxes everywhere. And my jam manager came over and he was like, there's a lot on the truck, so uh, help where you can. And so I'm not fully informed on like what's GM and what's grocery because what's grocery could be considered GM but yet it's grocery so I'm confused. There was, I forget the name of the aisle because I'm still not sure on where, where everything is. I work in the aisle that has like detergent, Lysol, um, hand soap, scrubbers, sponges, you know like the dish cleaning and stuff like that so like I start helping on there because that has the most boxes and I'm like nobody's working on this so I'm gonna work on it I work a quarter of the aisle before somebody comes up to me and they're like hey are you working for GM today and I was like yeah he's like this is grocery and I was like oh well my manager said just help where you can and he's like yeah help where you can for GM and I was like oh okay and then I was joking around with him because I needed to lighten the tent like lighten the mood for myself because I'm feeling so embarrassed and so I was like haha why didn't you stop me why didn't you and they were like ah, ha, ha, we wanted to let you finish I'm like I'm not even in your department and you let me do your work so anyway I was really embarrassed about that it was a whole mess and I like I literally said I thought about it for forever and I'm so embarrassed about it <sighs> let's just move on to the next one I said why did this 40 year old man kind of berate all of womankind after I complimented him yeah I'll never do that again man like I just was being nice first of all like it I gave him a compliment because he was like he asked how old I was I said oh, I'm 26 and he's like how old do you think I am I was like oh you look like you could be 26 or older 
um, or I said my age or older and he's like well that's not saying much I'm like yeah like 26 or older and then I, and then he was like he kind of said he kind of was quiet and then I said well how old are you and he's like I'm 40 and I was like oh that's crazy you've got like nice skin and he's like yeah like he openly admitted to me he was like I don't wash my face He's, he's got breakouts lately because I guess, I forget, his diet has been bad or whatever. He usually eats all only fruits and vegetables and he's like, I, I don't even wash my skin. Usually my skin's better than this, but I don't wash my skin. I'm like, that's crazy. And I was like, I, I wash my face so that way, you know, I can take care of what I've got now instead of like just letting it get worse. And he was like, I'm telling you, you... You ladies are always, he didn't talk like that, but he was basically like being like, you ladies are always putting all that stuff on your face and I don't know why, you know, like that's probably why like you guys get all this stuff. And I went, you know, I think maybe like just men's hormones are different than women's hormones because my boyfriend doesn't like wash his face either and like it's, it's only slightly better than mine, but in my head I was going to be like, like I genuinely could have just been like, I don't think that has anything to do with it. I do think like men and women's hormones are obviously different, but it's also just like, what, why, like what gives you a right to like comment on like what women do with their body and their skin, you know? And I didn't, this was like at seven in the morning. So I genuinely was like, I don't want to have like another conversation with another man about how your opinion on women's choices like doesn't matter he literally said that after i was like you've got nice skin like you don't have any wrinkles you know like you know just being polite because we were talking about age you know and for some people wrinkles is an insecurity and so at his age i don't know if that was so i just was being nice and saying you don't have wrinkles and not that wrinkles are bad it's just i don't know if he, at his age he would have like consider that a bad thing so I don't know I, I thought that whole situation was like annoying as hell to me the next one says my GM manager has a great pet so I have two this is the other one I'll give him the initial B and then the other one I'll give the initial um, H so B and H I get along more with B not so much H but H is nice so I said B has a great pet he said I have a sonic eyes shaped head and <laughs> he does have a great pet and I told him that he didn't take offense to it but he was like I forget if he said that he's gotten that before he was like what about you what do you think what kind of head do you think you have and I was like well I think I have a very rectangular like I have a square face and he goes you have a sonic ice shaped head and I was like are you being for real I'll take it like I would have never categorized my head as a sonic ice shaped head he told me that and i was like thank you i'm gonna remember that for the rest of my life next one i wrote i want to buy everything from doe skin i think that's how you say it doe, doe skin and i can't so doe skin is like environmentally friendly and they have really nice products depending on the type of skin that you have and what kind of products to use for your face and they just came out with reusable eye patches and I don't have any like eye serum regimen but I could with these patches because they are reusable and then you can also use them for like makeup to cover your under eye and I'm like oh I already been wanting to buy stuff from them for like a minute now and now that they came out with reusable eye patches I'm like um, the next one said, on that note, I want an Awala bottle, but I know it's not going to help increase my water intake, which is true. I have two Hydro Flask. One is like over there. It's that orange one on this table. And then I have a pink one that I let John use both of those. And I started using my Hydro Flask, the pink one, to start upping my water intake again. But I didn't like how the water was tasting inside the water bottle. And so I let John drink it. And so it's like, I already have two reusable water bottles. There's no real need for me to get a third one, but I like the look of an Awala bottle. So I'm kind of like on the fence and I'm obviously not buying one, but I want one real bad. Last one is the song of the day. It's It Girl by Lee's interlude, interlude. I almost said interlude, interlude. 
and it's obviously a TikTok song. I don't know the rest of the word, but I know the I T G I R L. That part is so catchy. I love it. Um, that was playing in my ears for on repeat for like a minute now. I'm glad it's that and not another like Olivia Rodrigo or Pop by Instinct because those are <laughs> those two will be on repeat a lot of the time and I don't want to keep coming on here and doing a song of the day and it's another Olivia Rodrigo song or Pop by Instinct. I want to give y'all something new. That's all that I've got going on in my head. But yeah, that's it for this segment. I will catch y'all after lunch. It's almost five. <laughs> I just woke up 20 minutes ago from my nap. <laughs> I don't know why I passed out so hard. I forgot I got these. You know what's crazy? I gave this um, a nine out of 10 when I was at work today. And I think I might bump them down to like seven and a half because I just realized that like, I love peanut butter and chocolate together because it's two different flavors. This is like double the peanut butter. And although it's still good, I'm thinking about chocolate and peanut butter together. And it's just like, mm, I kind of want that. It's still good though. I still eat it. Do you want to try these? Yeah. Boyfriend proof. Okay, now I'm going to edit today's vlog and then post it because my nap took way longer than expected. Oops. I'm only human, sorry. I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. Okay, well. Hi guys, it's now seven o'clock. I am uploading today's vlog. I'm surprised at how short it was because I didn't think it was going to be that short. But this is what I'm having for dinner. I'm having some pho. I got the eye round steak. That is my staple when it comes to pho. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is going to be at the end of the vlog. I hope I recorded it enough that it's like decently long, you know, nothing too crazy. But I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.